everybody. Today we actually have some sun, but the wood stove is roaring away because he put some wood in it last night and now it's like 100 degrees in here. So we have to have this door wide open. That's our thermostat. There's no way to control the wood stove, but it looks really nice out here. And don't worry, the cats are locked in the bedroom right now. Nobody's gonna run outside. We won't have to have the door open for too long, I don't think. It should cool things off pretty soon here. But yeah, we had another great big snowstorm. Here comes Don from the shed. But yeah, now... Open. Like a skunk in there. Yeah, but now we have tons and tons more snow. Everything is buried. And all this ice just fell off the roof. Unfortunately, I was not filming when Don knocked it down. He just reached his hand up to knock down an icicle and it all came down. And we have a skunk living under our shed. Yeah, he sprayed. He must have sprayed sometime last night or something. Oh, so now the shed's all messed up? Uh, this thing's pretty bad now. Uh, yay. As soon as you open, so I open that door, wham, right in the face. I got smacked with the odor. With I wonder spray. why it would have sprayed. Do you see any tracks from predators or anything in the snow? I don't see any other tracks, but tracks from the skunk. Yeah, I don't see anything. I wonder what made it spray. I don't know. No, but, there's nothing to scare it. No. But you gotta let the shed air out. Stink real bad. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> But yeah, we've known all winter that we've had a skunk living under the shed. Now he's becoming a problem. Yeah, now he is. Yep, just gotta wait until I know he's out and then try to plug that hole off. Yeah, but anyway, it's a nice, nice blue sky. Oh, I smell it now. I just got a whiff of it. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Whew. Oh, yeah. But anyway, why, uh, tell him again why you don't want to trap it in a live trap. Because yeah, I'm sure it'll be sprayed. suggested. Yeah, uh, I'll get sprayed or something. Yeah. Even if I, you know, even if I do toss something over it, and I don't get sprayed, but it starts spraying inside the thing, it's gonna be hard to move just because of the stench from it. Yeah. So, my dad always says that, always said that fox pee w sprinkling around will get rid of a skunk. So we'll have to get some and find out. Yeah, we we'll have to get some and find out because we do got live traps and all so just. Yeah, but you can't do that because then you, then you get sprayed. Yeah, it'd be too hard to try and relocate them and stuff without getting sprayed, and then trying to unlock the locks on the door to open it and never. No. Yeah. And tomato juice does not wash off skunk smell, I know. Yeah. So, been there, done that. <laughs> okay, I brought you guys out. Just show you where the skunk's been living at. Mm, as you can see, these are the tracks from it. Another one runs this way, behind here, behind John Deere. Up and through here. Yeah, up and through there. But over here is where it's getting in and out. Oh yeah, you can see it. Oh, yeah, right there. You can see where it's getting in and out right there. Right in that spot there. That's where the skunk's coming in and out. And you can see he's got a path running that way up towards the camper. And then he's got more trails off it through this way towards the other camper. Out that way, snowmobiler. Didn't even stop at the stop sign, just blew right through it. They do that all the time. Let's see if this one uh, blows on through or stops. Yeah, they barely even stopped that one there, did. But yeah, uh, you can see. But yeah, anyway, you can see the trails anyway where it's been walking going up that way and then it's been going back that back that way over towards the vehicles too but yeah anyway right here's a John Deere anyway but yeah. still smells a little bit over here but not quite as bad as it did yeah it still smells a little bit in the shed but not quite as bad but yeah anyhow it's a nice day out Sun shining. Got quite a bit of snow a few days back. Nice deep snow snow banks. Smokey, how are you doing today? Yeah, you tell us. Right, Colby? Smokey.
and White Storm. What are you doing, White Storm? What are you doing? Nothing? Here's Spotted Leaf. She stole Smokey's spot. Smokey's favorite spot. For now, anyway. Right? You'll let him have it back, right? And here's Buddy. Big Buddy! Great big Buddy. He's going to be nine months old on the first. And he's already a big, big kitty. Right? You're a big boy, aren't you? But you're a good boy. Yeah. What are you talking about, Smokey? Smokey? Yeah. But, yep. Just a lazy Sunday. And the cats are staying in the house where they belong. They don't like walking out in the snow. That hurts their feet. It's the summertime when you gotta watch them because they'll door dash. Right, White Storm? So how did your day go? All right. A little I, busy after we got up cleaning the house, but... Yeah. I do want to let you guys know that when he was out there filming that skunk, skunk tracks and stuff, that skunk's in there. That skunk is under the shed right yeah, now. Yeah, under the shed right now. Luckily yeah. sleeping, or else it might have come out and sprayed you. Uh, I don't think it would have. Well, if you, like, bothered it, like if you were, like, a kid or something, poked a stick in there. Yeah, if I would have been poking <laughs> sticks in there and instigating it, then yeah, but... Yeah. I'm not out there instigating it and causing it to want to free me, so... Still don't know why it sprayed in the first place, because there are um, no fox tracks out there, there's no coyote tracks, no dog tracks, no any other kind of tracks. Yeah, just, just its own tracks, so why it sprayed, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty weird. But it did. Yep. So anyway, we haven't made dinner yet. Don't even know what we're going to make. Not really that worried about it. And I guess that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video, because not a whole lot happened besides... The skunk. So we're going to go ahead and say goodnight and we hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for subscribing because we couldn't do any of this without you and we really appreciate it. Say goodnight. Say good morning. Say goodnight, White Storm. Meow. And we'll see you next time.